When a dog alerts to a vehicle, are you allowed to search passengers of a vehicle as PC? And the answer is, no, you are not. How do I know? This case comes out, USV DRE in 1948. It says, by mere presence in a suspected automobile, a person does not lose immunities from search of his person to otherwise which he would be entitled. You do not get a PC search of people after a dog alert in a car. What you may get is a search incident to arrest. How do I know? US versus Anchando, which is a persuasive piece of case law, that doesn't apply to New Jersey, but hold on, because we have cases that apply to New Jersey. This is what happens, and it paints a picture of exactly what you can do. So U.S. Border Patrol agents stop a vehicle. They suspect on Chando and the other person in the vehicle are narcotic smugglers based on specific and articulable facts equaling reasonable suspicion. A dog is brought over. They exit the vehicle. The dog alerts in the car. Agents go in and search the car. After searching the car, the dog hits on where Anchando was sitting. Thinking that Anchando probably has the drugs on him, the agent then turns to Anchando after he searched the car and goes and searches him and finds narcotics taped to his stomach. Then he locks him up and Anchando comes to court and says, just because the dog hit on the car, citing D. Ray, doesn't mean he could search me. And the court said, not as probable cause. But once that dog alerted to that car, coupled with the amount of reasonable suspicion these agents had, that gave him PC to arrest you. You can be arrested on a canine alert if the circumstances fit.